Welcome back to another episode of the Lowdown This Lockdown. I'm delighted to be joined by Dabinda, who is the Managing Director of Ultimax, an employee we work really closely with, as well as one of our Cheshire College governors. Today we're going to be discussing T-levels, which are a new two-year qualification for 16 to 19 year olds, which comprises of 20% on the job experience. Now, Cheshire College is the only further education provider in Cheshire to be selected by the government to offer T-levels. And we're delighted that we'll be working with Dabinda and Ultimax for the digital pathway, as they are one of the college's official placement providers. So welcome, Davinda. We're delighted to have you with us here today. And um, please could you introduce yourself a bit more as well as Ultimax? Uh, thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Yes, I'm the Managing Director of Ultimax. Uh, we're based at the University of Chester Thornton Science Park which is not very far from Ellesmere Port, really. Um, both myself and my business partner took over Ultimax back in 2004. Uh, it feels like a very, very long distant memory, actually. And it has been, a, it was a very small business uh, with one full-time employee and one part-time employee then. And we now um, uh, reached uh, uh, 16 employees. At, at, at its peak, we had 23 employees. I had to decrease purely because of uh, what we're going through at the moment with, with COVID and uh, uh, the business strategy was to realign itself and that has certainly helped us. I'm soon increasing that number from 16 to 19, taking on three new starters as part of the Kickstart program launched by the government in getting under 24 year olds into employment. Uh, so the six month program would allow me to understand if the individual is uh, is, is, is uh, requiring support in a certain way and how well they can actually fit into the business long term. My responsibility is to ensure the company performance is monitored as, as dictated by the board's overall strategy. And uh, this, strat this involves strategically looking all over the business areas in, in essence. Um, I'm also an active STEM ambassador um, I get involved in promoting STEM in schools and college. I always add a B next to STEM uh, because I don't believe science, technology, engineering and maths can exist without the business element in it. Uh, it's an area that we are lacking the skills and I believe we need to increase the awareness of STEM uh, going forward. I'm also a board member at uh, West Cheshire and North Wales Chamber of Commerce where I support the Young Chamber Initiative. Again, that is engaging uh, a certain number of schools uh, with, with industry and uh, the support could be through CV writing, talking about my journey, uh, how I got to where I am and inspiring individuals really to, 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 uh, to um, uh, further themselves uh, as, as time goes by in their careers. One of the other areas I'm involved with is the pledge. Uh, this again is further engaging industry with students up to the age of 24. Uh, this this is the pledge is part of the uh, uh, local enterprise partnership for Cheshire and Warrington. Yeah. So, a very busy man, Davinda. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do enjoy being uh, busy. I rather stretch myself and challenge myself than to wait for the next thing to come around the corner. You see, so yeah. Fantastic. And obviously I mentioned in the introduction that um, Ultimax has come on board as a work placement provider for our digital T-levels. I'm just interested to find out how um, you've been involved in the T-level process so far, obviously with it being a new qualification um, come September. Yes, I was uh, one of the very few that partook in, in, in a few of the pilots the college ran. Uh, I saw an opportunity to support the college. Uh, I've been very, very engaged with the college uh, over the years, both as a student. I, I was one of, one of the very first learners uh, at the old college. Um, and uh, and I thought, you know, the T-Levels uh, program is, 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 a very, is a very, very unique program where it allows, as you know, 48, 45 hours of, of a student's, um, sorry, 45 days of a student's uh, time uh, away in industry and we uh, we've been able to provide work experience to several students both the digital and electronics manufacturing area now within every business I uh, you know I, I'm not a digital digital business as such I do have lots of elements of digital that's are that are involved with the with the, with the business and I saw an opportunity thinking well there is an opportunity here in, in involving students from different disciplines and no different digital is part of a business in a way and uh, the, the, the program itself will allow uh, myself to uh, to to uh, pro 
push my boundaries within digital, within the business further by taking on new uh, creative thinking from, from learners. Um, so my involvement in T-Levels has gone back to the pilot scheme itself, which ran, ran very, very successfully. And uh, I, 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 uh, I, I can hand on out say that one of the success stories has actually led the, the individual to, to go into university and to further their, their, uh, their uh, engineering experience uh, in a, in a, with a degree. Fantastic, that's brilliant. And I guess you've touched on my next question, which was um, why Ultimex decided to become a T-level employer in the first place. So it's fantastic to hear about um, what your what you hope to do and what you how you hope to help learners with that work experience. Would you say that's one of the main benefits that T-levels can bring for learners? Yes, the T-levels, as you know, provide a much more hands-on experience within a business uh, environment and it allows the learner to expand their knowledge based on theory. I mean, they're, they're learning at college over the whole duration of the placement as well. So, you know, the, I believe the 45 days spent within the business helps us as an employer to assess the learner uh, in, in an educational environment, no tests, no exams, but also provides us an extra pair of hands uh, as well, you know, which, which is quite helpful in a way. But the 45 days uh, is different from the standard work experience models. Those 45 days are uh, uh, almost ingrained within the, the, the business in a way, you know, they become part of the business in a way. Um, uh, although they're not on the payroll, you know, they, they, they are part of the business and because it's a much longer duration over 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 over, over a number of days. It allows the, the the individual to become a lot more aware of other business areas within the business itself, which which which, which in normal work experience you would not actually experience those, because I'm looking away because I'm a small business. Uh, I, I I get to uh, allow the students to the learners to exploit and understand what else goes in the business. But in a larger business environment, you know, where we have uh, more than 50 plus people, it's very hard for 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 individuals to go in between different departments, and. 45 days is, is a long time, if you think about it in terms of work experience. It's, it's, it's a good chunk of time for them to learn a bit more about the business. Definitely, and I think, um, like you said, given the 45 days, it does allow that opportunity to explore further. So they may be coming to you within the digital pathway, but it's not to say that they're not going to, um, learners won't learn other transferable skills and um, yes. so communication all those soft skills that are required to either that will equip them to either go on and um, to further employment or to higher education or to university so i think like you said it is it's the, the um work experience element of t levels are really really beneficial yes they're very comprehensive and you know uh it's because they're fairly comprehensive, uh, they almost form part of the organisation, actively take part in real work, working practices. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, of course, um, we're still in England's third lockdown at the moment. And as this series is all about getting the lowdown during lockdown, we can't ask how things, we can't not ask how things are going at Ultimax. Um, and I know you've continued operating during lockdown, which is absolutely fantastic to hear. I'm just wondering if you'd be able to give us a bit more of an insight into how things have gone for you the past 12 months, I guess. Wow. The past most, the 12 months have gone by very, very quickly. Uh, we've been very busy through the three lockdowns uh, in supporting your clients, uh, some of which are, which do supply into the key areas such as water treatment and transportation. Um, and uh, uh, the the lockdown, the first lockdown actually allowed me in in a, run, in, a, in a very unusual way to work on the business rather than in the business, and it allowed me to think, uh, you know, how we as a business need to come out of this uh, stronger and better, and uh, you know, I had to restructure the business to allow that to happen. Uh, one of the programs we undertook uh, in 2019 was part of the. Uh, 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 part of the, the support that the college gave us as uh, as, as lean organization. Um, so we've become a lot leaner in, in that way. We've started applying some of the lean practices that we learned uh, learned as a, as a business from from the AEB program the college ran. And uh, you know, quite quickly, I understood how we needed to open up again. Uh, within three weeks, we we're up and running again, uh, with uh, with us being COVID secure, and. 
being based at Thornton Science Park, which which is not very far from the college itself, it has enabled us to uh, operate uh, uh, as a standalone business without any any impact on on um, on, on on the surroundings in terms of how uh, our neighbours have uh, at work been been affected. Um, I think one of the things that has certainly helped us uh, uh, go through this through lock, three lockdowns is 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 our staff. Uh, no doubt about it. Our staff have been the, one of the most, and I would say one of the best assets as a business. You know, we've got loyal staff who worked tirelessly throughout the whole 12 months, um, irrespective of what has been thrown at them. You know, at, at one time we had four or five members of staff at work with no admin support. You know, we were working from home, most of us, uh, as much as we could to try and uh, suppress this uh, this virus as much as we could. And things are happening. Uh, goods are being shipped to our customers, and customers were very happy. Um, and uh, the supply chain was working smoothly. Um, one of the things I would say we learned as a business is that you know we we have to be very very agile and resilient in in, uh, in no matter what happens. And I think the workforce in in, in general have been very very uh, um, uh, accommodating. You know, a lot of boundaries have been pushed. Uh, a lot of new challenges have been put in their way because they've never had to work this way in the past. And we've adapted very well um, from very, very early on and uh, done very well out of it in a way that we have actually growing, uh, we've actually grown uh, the business uh, in terms of its turnover, despite us having shrunk uh, and put in lean practices in place and working from home, with respect to that, we've actually grown, which is fantastic. Well done to the team. Yeah, that's fantastic news and I think what you touch upon there, Devinder, in terms of the resilience and adaptability of um, workforces and staff is something that's been shown across the board, isn't it, in terms of um, being able to adapt to these new changes um, in such a way that has allowed you to have that fantastic growth, which is brilliant to hear. Um, obviously, as I mentioned at the introduction, you're also one of our governors, and I'm just wondering if you would have any advice for our current learners about making the most of this time learning from home. Um, with given your experience um, within Ultimex as well and how you said you've been um, a lot of the team have been working from home. Yes, uh, well what I would say to learners is make the most of the learning from home by expanding your mind with new learning beyond what is being taught through, through school or through the college. An opportunity to learn a musical instrument or learn how to, uh, to, to code something uh, or to try something out new that you've never tried out before. Yeah, it's just to expand yourself in some way. Most of all, keep fit by taking regular exercise uh, with, of course, you know, ensuring that the government guidelines are adhered to. I'd, I'd certainly suggest uh, learning learning something new. I certainly have been learning something new with my daughter who's working from, uh, you know, from doing some homeschooling. I started learning the cello with her, you know, oh, uh, supporting her through, through her cello lessons. And uh, I would never have touched a cello before in my life. Uh, so it, it has certainly, enabled me to do certain things that I would never have tried before. Uh, certainly, expand yourselves, uh, push yourselves in some ways that you never would have thought. Because there's no boundary now, you're working from home, you're studying from home, there's no boundary there, you know, you can expand it as much as you want, you can stretch it as much as you can, yeah. Brilliant, um, and last but not least, Avinda, and we're asking everyone this, um, and I will ask it you as a governor of Cheshire College, um, if you had to sum up your time being a governor, in three words, what would they be? <laughs> well, three words. Uh, oh, wow, it was amazing to, uh, to try and come to three words, and uh, I couldn't. I don't think I can answer it in three words. Uh, it would be very, very difficult. It has been an amazing experience so far, um, and I believe the, the the future, you know, of of of, uh, of being a governor at at, at, uh, at Cheshire College. It only expand myself further. I've learned so much and also getting so much support through the governing body uh, that you know that, that requires uh, the, the scrutiny uh, that it, it needs to have, ensuring that the college runs uh, uh, effectively. So, in summing it up, I think it's been an amazing experience. Uh, yeah. Brilliant. That's fantastic to hear. And um, I guess on behalf of everyone, we really appreciate your support, both as a governor and as one of our new T-level employers as well. And thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us today, Devinda. And um, your insights have been um, fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for allowing me to to speak on the uh, uh, the load on this lockdown. It's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.